In this video, Chris Stanley, podcast host and IAPATH founder, is going to show you the best trick for finding hail damage on a vehicle, starting now. This is Adjuster TV. Hey, it's Matt here with Adjuster TV. And for the best tips and tools for getting on the first call list as a cat property independent adjuster, subscribe now. Smack that bell notification and you'll be rocking and rolling. And thanks to Chuck Norris who says, I was once bitten in the leg by a cobra. After five days of excruciating pain, the Cobra died. I've had two vehicles damaged badly enough by hail that I had to file a claim and get repairs done. And I was in my vehicle both times when it happened. Based on the number of miles on my 4Runner, it should be no surprise that I'm always in my vehicle. The first time it happened was back in 2006 when I was driving home for the weekend from a cat. I was stopped mid-afternoon on I-70 by probably the strongest thunderstorm I've ever seen in person. It started to hail, but all the overpasses had cars jammed under them. So I had to pull over and cover my head and cringe while my new 2005 F-350 Lariat got trashed by very large, hard, baseball-sized hail. I was convinced that the hail would come smashing through the moonroof, but in spite of my windshield getting destroyed, the moonroof didn't even get a crack in it. And let me tell you, the sound the hail made hitting the truck was louder than a small caliber pistol going off in my ear. $8,000 worth of damage. The second time, I was in Colorado, and I was actually on a cat then as well. Not nearly as big of hail, and it took me several minutes to find something that looked like a hail dent. But I kept finding little dings, so I went ahead and filed a claim. And when the adjuster came out, he was able to find way more dents and dings than I ever could. So what was that trick that that adjuster used to find all the damage on my car? Well, Chris Stanley's going to tell us right now. Take it away, Chris. Okay, real quick, IA, I want to walk you through kind of the order that you need to inspect a hail damaged vehicle um, and uh, kind of the process and what that looks like. So we're going to go up and I start at the left front fender and I'm going to use my hard line reflections, the shadow and the sun. I'm going to look at each body line and look for hail damage dents. I'm going to do both directions on this fender and I don't see any damage. Next, I'm going to do the hood. Do the same thing. I'm going to walk across every line of the hood and I'm looking for any kind of dents. And I see one right over here. Here, you can use the trees, you can use the building, anything that creates a hard line reflection, dark versus light um, on the panel. So I'm gonna go with one dent here. Now I'm going to move on to the right fender. Same thing, we're gonna go ahead and walk through the body line. Each plane that the panel has, all the nice contours, they're different lighting. So you have to walk through each one from that different angle. Now onto the door, same thing. I'm going through each one this way. Just showing you the different ways you can kind of inspect these. You want to make sure sometimes, if you're not sure, you can step back. So let's get a good view of the doors and of the panels farther back. You don't always want to be so up close that you miss it, because that does happen. I'm going to go ahead on the rear door. Same thing. And I have inspected this vehicle previously. And so I know that there's not really much damage on the side here. I'm going to go to the quarter panel. And you'll see body wave here. You might see something going on right there. And that's just from the tail lamp pocket. And then you need to do up here. You need to do uh, the roof rail, all directions. Need be have a stool or with the owner's permission, climb on a tire. In this instance, I'm just trying to show you kind of the process. So I'm not gonna climb up on it. And then from here, I'm gonna double check. This is a plastic spoiler, so there's not gonna be any damage. Come down to the tailgate or lift gate or trunk, whichever type of vehicle it is. I'm going through all the different places that there might be dents. 
So there was some damage on that right roof rail. Now I'm gonna do the left roof rail, same thing. And there's some big dents. I mean, you hope you see that one. It's a big one. There's a smaller ones over here as well. You just wanna make sure you walk every line of these major panels for damage. I'll go through on the quarter panel. See one here. Make sure you get a hard line to really make it pop. See that hard line there? Looking at the doors. I'm looking at both doors. I'm not just doing one at a time here. I'm actually walking back and forth, looking across the whole side of the vehicle, making sure that different angles, different distances, you see different damage. So I'm gonna get it from this side now, and then we'll take a look at the roof. Before I jump up on the roof too and look at it, just check the cowl here. This is a plastic piece that gets broken in hail. Just double check there's no damage there. Double check the windshield. There's a pit right here, um, but by feeling it, I feel the damage on the outside. And because it's on the outside, uh, I know it's not hail. Hail would push this in and crack the seal on the inside. So this is done by a rock or flying debris or something of that nature, but that is not done by hail. So no hail damage on the, on the windshield that we can tell at this point. And then I'm gonna look at the roof. And once again, get a stool if you need to, uh, get on the tire with the owner's permission. Sometimes people like to stand on like the side next to the carpet, the door frame. That's relevant. You can see a lot of damage up here, different dents. And uh, so you just want to go through every line, every angle, count all the dents. And that's kind of the order and what you do when you're trying to inspect hail damage. Question of the day, have you ever had a vehicle damaged by hail? For much more information about becoming an auto IA, head on over to adjustertv.com slash auto and check out Chris Stanley's podcast at iapath.com. And if you got value from this video, you can help me create more videos just like this by hitting the round subscribe button. Wondering what to watch next? Check out these videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching and have a great storm. The doctor says, I'm sorry, sir, but you suffer from a terminal illness and have only 10 to live. The patient says, what do you mean 10? 10 what? 10 weeks? Months? The doctor says, nine.